As you're working on the second half of our unit on While the Locust Slept, you're going to be looking more and more at our three major themes, growing up in the margins, standing up to oppression, and the subjectivity of truth. So I'm going to talk quickly about what each of these means. First up, we have growing up in the margins. When we talk about someone being marginalized, we mean they're pushed to the side and left out. The margins are literally the blank space at the edge of the page. So if you are looking at Peter, he is marginalized because he's pushed out again and again. Growing up in the margins means you're not getting the support you need, you're not being given the same opportunities, you're having to find your own way a lot of the time, and you're being left out either accidentally or on purpose. Standing up to oppression means trying to resist a more powerful group. There's a great image on the left there. We talked about how oppression is one powerful group trying to use that power over another to deny them opportunities or justice. So standing up to oppression looks like resisting that, fighting back for yourself or others. And finally, we have the subjectivity of truth. Subjectivity means that something changes depending on who you ask. The subject you ask will have their own view on it. If you've ever gotten in a fight with someone, chances are that your version of the story would be different from theirs. So that is subjective. Subjectivity can be just a matter of perspective. You each have different points of view. Or it can be intentional getting rid of some parts of the truth or covering things up to try to create a particular story. In this book, we can look at how state records differ or support Peter Razor's own memories and how altogether Peter is trying to tell his version of truth, but often getting ignored or overlooked. So again, we have our three themes. As you continue through the second half of the book, keep an eye out for all three of these. How do they come up? How do they change? What great examples stick in your mind? You'll be coming back to these ideas when we get to the summative. So watch out for those themes, and they're really going to help you dig deeper into the book.